Fossils suggest that glass sponges were established by the late Proterozoic era. In the Jurassic, there were large reefs formed of glass sponges that covered the northern shore of the Tethys Sea, which is now the area representing Europe and eastern Canada. Sponge reefs, as biogenic structure, were initially thought to be extinct until the discovery of the reefs in the Pacific Northwest. Most glass sponges live in depths greater than 500 meters. Off the coast of British Columbia, in the North Pacific, vast reefs spanning hundreds of square kilometers live in shallower depths of approximately 200 meters. This depth is speculated to be favorable for sponge reefs because of high silica content, high food content, high water flow, and cold temperatures reminiscent of the deep sea. Glass sponges possess a unique silicon dioxide skeleton and syncytial tissue formed by fused embryonic cells. They're typically vase, plate, or tube-shaped. There are two structural types of glass sponges. Lysocene sponges have a loose spicule skeleton and are non-reef-forming. Dictyonine, on the other hand, can form reefs due to a fused spicule skeleton. Only three species make up reefs. They are Aphrocalistes vastus, Heterocone calyx, and Ferrea oca. These species are found throughout the Pacific as individuals. It is only in the Northeast Pacific that they form reefs. You can learn more about glass sponges and see more videos at our website.